that sugar sweet You got what I need Sipping on the potion All that good emotion Just my kind of heat Keep it on repeat Tested by the potion Love it, this the potion yesterday and I can't lie we were catfished not only by our booking reservation so our uh, accommodation but by the city itself um, we are kind of disappointed as it is the city has a lot of potential being completely honest like the buildings itself they can look nice but they're just not taken care of that doesn't mean that the city is not clean it's very clean you can't see any litter on the streets or anything like that but it's just all of the buildings look abandoned and some of the buildings are abandoned. Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly jump on here whilst I'm editing. Um, the reason that the colour of this video is like very orange, it was, I went to Porto during the time where the Sahara Desert sand was um, rising up and it was just sand everywhere. That's why the colour tint of the whole video is like yellowish. So I just wanted to put this claim out there. I did not put any filter on, that's just how it looked. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm brutally honest in this video. I didn't, don't get me wrong, I did really enjoy Porto. I was just very sad to see how the private owners just didn't take care of the properties. But the city itself is very beautiful. The bridge is so mighty. I really love the bridge. Um, and yeah, I just want to quickly jump here to make sure that you guys know that the reason it's yellow is because there was like um, the sand from the Sahara Desert going all over Europe. But yeah. find ourselves on the, let me read it out, Ponte Luis the first bridge. It's one of the most famous bridges in Porto and it's a bridge that every tourist goes by and we're just shocked on how dirty this is. Look at the, look at the housing over there. Again, this is not funded by every, it's clean because the city takes care of it so the city cleans it but the private estate holders are just, it's actually disappointing. There's dogs walking on the roof, if you guys can see. I'll zoom in in a second. Um, but yeah, it's a tourist place that every tourist goes by. And as you guys can see, there's a zip line going downwards. Along the river, not along the river, next to the river. I don't see it going across, maybe it actually is. But either way, there is a zip line. I can see the course is going this way and it keeps on going forward that way. So if you guys are interested in that, have a look, it's a pretty cool idea to be fair. I just had a read as to why are the buildings so abandoned. The reason that they're so abandoned is because Portugal hit a financial crisis from 
2010 to 2014, so all of the business was centralised into Lisbon rather than Porto, um, hence everyone moved over to Lisbon, um, and now that's why it's not taken care of. Um, but the thing is, it's been so many years that you would think that they would try and save the city and not for it to be so run down, because since it is a touristy area, you would think they would try and invest all the money that they get from tourists into rebuilding and refurbishing everything so that they can get more tourists in the future, which would make sense, but, you know.
Trzy lata, lody. Chcesz? No, trzy no euro. Weź. Są weź mało kalorii, cytrynowe, wegańskie. battery on our camera so we went back and to charge it but we also did go to Mackey's and a seagull tried to steal our food <laughs> it wasn't like once it was like three times he tried once he actually succeeded he took some rice um, but yeah so we've been just walking ahead of ourselves and we found some really cool places around the area and um, so what we're looking at oh there we go and um, we're looking at going to Salvento which is the metro station which is very popular and apparently it's very cool so we're just gonna walk towards that area ahead of ourselves and there's already a really cool building right over there i'll do a close up in a second and yeah we'll see where our legs take us Okay, 
Okay, it's the next day and we just came back where we went to yesterday in the evening just to see everything in daylight. We see this building right over here. So it is actually called... Oh! Igreja de Santo Antonio dos Congregados. underneath and now we have the view from under the bridge this is on the side we were on previously and now we're on this side we're gonna go get food right now we had some recommendations on Portuguese cuisine we should try so we're gonna give it a go and I don't know how to pronounce it so excuse my pronunciation but I'll do that in the restaurant <laughs> Sipping on the potion, all that good emotion Just my kind of heat, keep it on repeat Testing by the potion, love 